friends, happy birthday. Welcome to your weekly love reading for August 15th to the 21st for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So those who've been with me for a while, I'm no longer doing pre-shuffle sessions. Um, for my newbies, hello. Hi, how are you? Um, I will be going over my meditative session that I did for you guys, and then we'll go ahead and get into the reading. So Leo, your energy is very interesting. Very interesting. They actually showed me it's, it's going to sound airy fairy, but I just, I'm just honest with what I get. They showed me someone holding a crystal ball, like an orb of some kind, but it was very uh, translucent. Translucent, you could see right through it. Leo, I feel like you hold the power in a situation and you're waiting to make a move. And it's, it seems like it's up to you to make a situation move forward in any direction. But until you do, it's kind of at a standstill. But you you kind of want it to be at a standstill right now is what I'm getting. You know you hold the power. You know it's up to you to make a move. And you're biding your time. You're sitting there with it, just holding it. Just holding it, waiting. I also have this energy about you that's very calm. Um, a lot of meditative energy, so a lot of you might be getting into meditative practices or expanding your meditative practices. I did also see a garden, so some of you might be starting an herb garden or, spend, or spending more time outside. Some of you are meditating outside, and others you really need to meditate outside. Eels need the sun. You guys need the sun. So if you feel like you're not getting a whole lot of sun or you feel a little down or feel a little lethargic, just go out in your garden or in a park or what have you. I feel a lot of greenery will be helping you in this time, especially in the sunlight as well. So keep that in mind. I also just got basil and mint. Basil and mint. So some of you guys either need to plant that or need that to, to start eating those um, particular herbs. Anyway, Leo, um, as you're holding this power move or your power in this situation, I feel, God, not again, not to sound, you know, grand about it, but I feel like whatever move you're about to make or whatever move you know you have to make, there's a lot of other people's destinies kind of tied to this, whatever it is, which is interesting to me. So maybe you're trying to make a move within your own career or within your own family. It could even just be within a relationship. Some of you, it could just be between you and another person, but you're holding the power and you know it. And for some, there's a person who's really nervous about this, really nervous about this. And the more you sit with this energy, Leo, the more you sit with this knowing you have to make a move, you're actually gaining a lot of wisdom. And, and again, I'm getting the more of that meditative energy. You could just be getting a lot of downloads. We are in Lionsgate still. Um, even though this is the 15th to 21st, it's energy. Well, we all work through energy differently, right? Um, you're getting more clarity and understanding of the situation. It's almost like you kind of knew the gist of what you needed to know. But before you make this move, some of you are like, I really want to know everything because this is a big move. This is a big decision for some of you. So you're sitting with it and you are gaining more clarity, more understanding. You're gonna make a very rational, logical decision. I don't feel like you're making it from an emotional space and I think that's actually the right thing. I think you're, you're going about this the right way, a healthy way. Whatever this decision is, it has to be logical. It can't be from the heart. For whatever reason, it can't be from the heart. And once you give over this power move or this power or make whatever move you have to make in this situation, I do feel a major release, a major release. I feel a lot of like breathing work too. Some of you could be doing breathing work or again, just more meditative energy, <sighs> but release of stress, release of tension, release of tension. And for some of you, it's anxiety, but you're sitting very quietly with whatever this is. Okay. All right, Leos, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Anybody who has any questions or curiosities or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, please check out the link below. Like I said, if you have questions now, please check it out. <laughs> I promise your question will most likely be answered. Okay. All right, guys, let's get into this. Any messages for Leo regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. I also feel like you're not talking about this decision or move, power move. So for some, it's just a straight up power move. Um, interesting. I'm also getting a handing over of power for a couple of you. A handing over of power, which you're a little reluctant to do. I really understand what I'm sitting with it then. Um, that threw me for a second. Damn it, that threw me. Um, quiet, quiet, yeah. You guys are being a little quiet about this. You're not really talking about it. You're not talking about it. And I, again, I think that's smart. You just need to marinate in it. Marinate in it, sit with it. Any messages for Leo? Mm. My guide's like, sit up straight. Okay. <laughs> Any messages for Leo regarding love, August 15th to the 21st? Any messages for Leo 
regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Yeah, you're letting the information come to you. You're just letting it come to you. You're not trying to actively seek it out. It's like, it'll come to me when it comes to me. I'll know when to make this move. Yeah, it's like you're going very um, intuitive about it, Leo. Very intuitive with it. Any messages for Leo regarding love, August 15th to the 21st? Definitely feels like something you shouldn't make hastily, whatever this decision is or power move is. Take your time. Any messages for Leo regarding love, August 15th to the 21st? Keep in mind when I go over meditative energy like that, it's energy that is in and around you. So it could be um, affecting you directly or coming from you directly or uh, someone that you are, very, you are very energetically connected to. Okay. Any messages for Leo regarding love, August 15th to the 21st? Any messages for Leo regarding love, August 15th to the 21st? Any messages for Leo regarding love, August 15th? Wow, I always forget about this card. <laughs> Page of Cups in I just just put a little sticker on there. Page of Cups in reverse. Interesting. I feel like you're watching someone act out. I don't think it's your energy. I feel like you're watching someone act out. You could have a child who like throws, is throwing a lot of tantrums. You're watching someone act out. Just watching. I don't feel like you're doing anything about it. I think you're processing it. Ooh, ooh, Leo. <laughs> I just heard some of you uh, letting them dig their own grave. Wow, okay. Yeah, you're not interfering with this person, whatever energy I'm picking up on. It's like you're letting them sh like basically be a fool. Eight of Cups, Piscean Energy. Wow, Leo. Okay, I see what y'all are doing. You must have a little Scorpio in your chart or something. Uh, you're watching this person. Jesus. <laughs> you're watching this person act out. You're not doing anything about it. You're not intervening. But the Eight of Cups, I definitely feel like that's you sitting in that power position. Like, And I love this version of the Eight of Cups because it's a little atypical. It's like, before I head out, let me look at this a little harder, right? Let me look at this emotional outburst a little more. Let me look at the situation a little more before I really take my time, before I really go ahead and make this move to move forward and move on. I feel like that's what you're doing here, Leo. It's like, let me watch this person run their mouth. Let me watch this person bury themselves. Let me watch this person tell on themselves, um, act, like, act like an idiot, act like a fool and show me what I really need to see about this person. Yeah, it's almost like for some of you, this could be someone relatively new in your life. And you're just like, I need to see who this person really is. So instead of instantly going in and being like, I'm not cool with that. I'm not okay with that. You're, let, you're letting them run amok to see how crazy this person is or to see how far someone will take something before you decide to actually leave them behind. Ooh, Leo. I gotta be honest, feels very scorpionic. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we have. Feels very water sign. Feels very water sign, I'll put it that way. Any other messages for Leo? Regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Yeah, guys, seriously, watch the Scorpio reading. It's feeling very similar energy, very similar energy. In the Scorpio reading, it was about um, essentially, <coughs> hold on, mm. keeping an eye on those that are not trustworthy, you know, like keeping your friends close, enemies close. So I feel a little bit like that. It's like, keep acting like a fool. Keep showing me who you really are. You know, it's that kind of energy before you decide to just be like, bye. Before you decide to really dip out. Any messages for Leo regarding love, August 15th to the 21st? If you're dealing with a child, I don't think it's about leaving a child. I think it's just about how you're going to go about dealing with them. Yeah. And honestly, guys, that's it. Those are the only two cards. The only two cards. You have a two card reading, Leo, for August 15th to the 21st. Let's go ahead and see what else is going to transpire here. We're going to get really into these cards. Overall energy, we do have Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. It's interesting, Leo, because I feel like you're really calm. But like I said, there's someone who's nervous. There's someone who's nervous and they know you hold the power here. They know that, you know, you just got to make a move to get a situation going, right? Because this, this is actually a standstill Eight of Cups. Very atypical to uh, traditional tarot. A standstill Eight of Cups. Again, let me stand here and watch a little more before I really decide to leave this behind and to push ahead and go to, towards my Ten of Cups. Someone's nervous, Leo. 
<laughs> someone's nervous. Someone's getting restless about this. Someone's getting restless about this. And I think it's because you are so quiet. I feel like I felt this energy <laughs> with you before. Um, or was it cancer? It might have been cancer. You guys could be cuspers. Anyway, they're nervous. They're nervous, Leo. They're really nervous. I also feel like this is an energy of taking a detour for you. Taking a bit of a detour. Um, you already know what's going to make you happy, essentially, Leo. And you feel like this person who's like now on my path mm, might not be leading me towards happiness. I might need to take a detour. That's why you're taking this pause. That's why you're taking this pause to kind of let this person run amok and be like as big of a fool as possible before you make the decision to do whatever power move you gotta make. Oh, Leo, I like this. I like this. So mysterious. Okay, so let's look at so let's look at the page of cups in reverse that's the last time i'm going to hold it up actually because i'm getting tired of having to cover that area um using gilded tarot to clarify claim up page of cups in reverse for leo claim up, yeah some of you are like dealing with a child who's like acting out a lot and you're like where did i go wrong with you <laughs> did i raise you because it seems like i didn't raise you and you're just trying to reevaluate your parenting uh technique with this uh, child that's only gonna be for like a handful of you so i have a page of cups in reverse for leo regarding love tell me about page of cups in reverse for leo regarding love august 15th to the 21st tell me about page of cups in reverse for leo regarding love august 15th to the 21st Tell me about Page of Cups in reverse for Leo regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Wow, Eight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Yeah, you're not ready to totally walk away yet, Leo. You're not ready to totally walk away yet. You, you want to evaluate this a little bit longer before you really make that final decision because you feel like it's a big decision. For whatever reason, you feel like it's a big decision that will affect other people. And however that uh, you know resonates for you guys, um, everyone's in a different scenario. I'm also getting this energy of someone who's been like this with you in the past, like someone who used to act out with you a lot, a lot, very emotionally immature person, probably threw tantrums back in the day, has kind of popped back up in your life along your path. And you're not saying much about it. It's kind of like, this person's back. Why are they back? I can't really trust this person. How could I trust this person? They acted like a fool back in the day. But again, this is for some of you. This is for some of you. And that's why you're sitting with it. You're like, let me just watch them. Let me watch what other fuckery they may or may not still be up to. Right? Because it's like, you don't know if you can trust them. So you're just watching and biding your time so that they can just tell on themselves, essentially. Tell me about Page of Cups in Reverse. Tell me about Page of Cups in Reverse. Ooh, 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 death, scorpionic energy. Like I said, have, have they changed? I can't make a decision yet because I need to see if I need to put an end to this person being in my life, whether they have returned or whether this is a new person. Or again, trying to see if they've really changed their ways, if this is a past person. Yeah, so to reiterate, because I feel a little confusion on your guys' end. So if this is a new person, acting like a fool, you're gauging them by not saying much you're gauging them and just watching them which is why you haven't decided to totally move on from them yet to totally be like yeah i'm done with you to decide if you need to or not to decide if you need to put an end to this person being in your life um others this is someone who's returning who acted like a major fool in the past very emotionally immature um very childish no matter how old they are they pop back up and you're wondering if they have actually changed or again if you really need to just be like no there's the door again okay all right, let's see what else we got out here. Tell me about Page of Cups in reverse. Oh, shit. Ten of Wands. Yeah, Sag energy. This is a little bit of a burden here, Leo, for you. Regardless of whatever group you're in, you're in, whether this is a new person or a person from the past, it's a bit of a burden. And I think that's why once you make whatever decision you need to make to go towards your Ten of Cups, whatever your version of that is, whether it's realizing this person has changed and accepting that or totally just being like, no, get the fuck out of my life. Um, there's going to be a sense of relief because you just don't know your answer yet. And you want clarity on that, which is why it's a little bit of a burden. You don't like staying quiet about it, Leo, I can tell. You don't like staying quiet about it, but you know that's in your best interest. Tell me about Page of Cups in Reverse. Tell me about Page of Cups in Reverse for Leo. 
okay, this has to be for like one or two of you. I'm like, I'm picking up on energy with this Page of Cups in reverse, where I feel like they've been in your life for a little while, not long, like maybe this year, you know, the last like, what month are we in? August? Like maybe like the past six months or so they've been in your life. And you know they're emotionally mature and they do act out a lot, but I'm getting like for a couple of you, it's like one thing that really ticks you off is how they treat like um, uh, customer service people. Like I think if you guys go out to eat, they're really rude or just very inappropriate with them and you don't like that, you really don't like that. Tell me about Page of Cups in reverse. Tell me about Page of Cups in reverse for Leo regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. So we got one other card out here. We have a Knight of Cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Interesting. So we go from a page to a knight, Leo. So this is someone from the past. They appear, I'm going to say appear, because like I said, you're all in a different situation and even you're not sure. I can feel that. They appear to have grown up a little bit from a page to a knight. However, a knight can be illusionarily charming. So what do I mean by that? They can be very charming in their own right. They can be quite a smooth talker. They do have love though. They got some love and emotion here for you. Um, so again, if this is someone from the past, but you're just like, yeah, you're a little too smooth. I don't know, <laughs> right? Yeah, I don't know about that. You're a little too smooth for my comfort. Again, putting you in that state of like, mm, I need to see what else is going on here with this person, what they're really up to. For those of this as a newer person, I feel like there is that charm to them that kind of keeps you wondering, keeps you pondering, even though they have these emotional outbursts or they act very immature, um, they do have a little sense of charm to them. A little bit of a flirty energy, a playful energy that you do like, but then, you know, then you see the emotional immature side and you're like, yeah, I don't know about you. I just can't trust your ass. I just can't trust you. Either way, they're no more than a knight as far as their emotional development is concerned. And a lot of you don't like that. A lot of you want a king emotional um, development, not up to a knight. And even then for some, the knight is just a facade. And at the end of the day, they're truly still a page. And I also say that because overall energy, look at that. We got the page of swords as their overall energy. Leo. For those where this is a returning person, they've been keeping tabs on you. They've definitely been keeping tabs on you. Underneath that, look at that. We got a queen of swords. <laughs> queen of swords. Libra energy uh, could also be air or water. And interestingly enough, underneath that, we have a queen of cups. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. And then we have a king of cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Not a coincidence all these cards came out like this. Okay, Leo, I feel like you are in this queen's stance. I feel like you're taking on a queen of swords, queen of cups energy. Uh, you could have Gemini in your chart. It's interesting you're coming you're coming across as two court cards. Usually happens to me with Gemini energy. It doesn't have to be though. Just saying. Just pointing that out to you guys. So they're watching you if this is a returning person. And even if they're a newer person, again, they're coming across as a page. Very much as a page. Very much emotionally stunted compared to you. You're coming across as two queens. Two queens, queens that are both very intuitive. You see her third eye shining on the Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. We already know. Very, very intuitive, right? Someone who's very grounded. You're very grounded in this. And again, you're about receiving that energy. Queens receive. So even if you're a male, you're letting the information come to you. You're letting them act however they want to act without interluding, without intervening, Letting them tell on themselves if they're truly just so emotionally mature that they're not trustworthy. And again, if they're a returning person, show, letting them show you if they're still that same person or if they've actually changed or not. So you're watching. You're watching and just waiting for them to tell on themselves. And then we have this King of Cups in reverse underneath that. I'm going to put these down. Then we have that King of Cups in reverse underneath that. This is someone who is very emotionally detached and emotionally out of control. Leo, I feel like you already know the answer. I feel like you already know the answer that, oh crap, come back, that this person you're dealing with, I'm going to call them a true page, just for the sake of not confusing you guys. They're a true page and their emotional state is equivalent to the King of Cups in reverse, being very emotionally out of control, not being able to handle emotions very well. You already know that. And you know you don't like it and you know you want better. You know you want better. So you're going to sit there a little longer and be like, I know my answer, 
but I don't like the answer. I think some of you are kind of disappointed with this. Whether this is, again, a newer person who came into your life this past year, or whether this is someone returning back into your life trying to tell you, yeah, I'm different, I've grown, I've grown, I've grown. You know your answer, Leo. And you're bummed. You're a little bummed. I think that's why you're sitting with this so long before you make a move. You really wanted more out of this person. I get it, Leo. But let's look at the state of cups and then we'll get some advice. Mm, yeah, let's do a uh, writer weight. Tell me about eight of cups. Tell me about eight of cups for Leo regarding love. Tell me about eight of cups for Leo regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about eight of cups. For Leo, regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. It's also a shame, too, because it's very clear that you are um, soulmates here. You are soulmates, most definitely, at least elementally speaking, in your core, in your essence. You are very, very compatible. Um, but yeah, they just, they're not grown enough for you. It sucks. They're not grown enough for you. Tell me about Eight of Cups. For Leo, regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about Eight of Cups for Leo, regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about Eight of Cups. And Leo, I gotta be honest, this is a lot of a lot of cups going on here. A lot of emotion is wrapped up in this. And I think you do care about this person, but you also know what you need, right? And look at the card, first card that came out, Ace of Cups in Reverse. You're realizing that, yeah, emotionally, they're not developed enough for this. They're not developed enough for you, especially if this is regarding a romantic relationship, which I do feel like for most of you this is. Um, they're not up. They're not. They're, they're not up to your standard. They're not. They're not up to your frequency. And I, again, you care about them, but there's just the love isn't really there because it's not truly compatible in the emotional development part of this. Okay. Like I said, you're soulmates, but mm, hold on. Mm. But they've got growing to do. Tell me about Eight of Cups. Ooh. Tell me about Eight of Cups for Leo regarding love. Tell me about Eight of Cups for Leo. Yeah, star in reverse, Aquarian energy. Yeah, you're realizing this person has to grow up. And I think in growing up, they have to heal some of their shit in order to grow up a little bit more so they can have more self-love. This person doesn't have a whole lot of self-love for themselves, which is why I think they act out so much. Yeah, I'm getting acting out more so than anything when it comes to their emotional immaturity. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Tell me about Eight of Cups for Leo regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Wow, Six of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, could also be Past Life, Soulmate, Karmic Energy. Again, more of this Soulmate Energy. You care about them, Leo, you do. You totally care about them. But you know this person has to grow. You know they have to heal. You know they have to work on their self-love. And like, yeah, you care a great deal about them. You have fun with them. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad, Leo, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, they, they got to do their thing. They, they have to, they got to grow. They just got to grow. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups for Leo regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups for Leo regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Wow. Oh, man. Leo. Last two cards out. Seven of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy, and Five of Cups, more Scorpionic energy. You are, you know this is true. That sucks, Leo. Seven of Cups in reverse is clarity, because Seven of Cups upright is confusion, right? <laughs> it's also fantasy. Um, with that Five of Cups, though, you're bummed. You are bummed about this. You're sad about this, because it couldn't be more clear. It couldn't be more clear. They have to grow. They have to heal to get up to your level of emotional development. L like, you guys care about each other. You really do. You're just a little further along in your development, in your emotional development, and it sucks. It's very unfortunate, and you are very bummed about having to make this decision, but you know it's a, the best decision for you. Overall energy, hi. 
Yeah, eight of, eight of, almost said eight of swords. Wow. Eight of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, well, that would make sense, though, because you guys are very burdened by this and having to make this decision. And once you do, you're going to feel a lot, a lot of relief, even if it is bumming you out and making you sad. Eight of pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy underneath that. Knight of swords in reverse, Gemini energy could also be air or fire underneath that. Look, the freaking tower, man, the tower. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this is Mars influence. You're avoiding this conversation right now, Leo. You don't want to put effort into having this talk with them because you know it's going to bring in a tower and most likely an ending to this person being in your life. And maybe just for right now, you never know. Life is long. <laughs> life can be very long. So you never know. This person can come back after they've grown up a bit. You might even say that like, look, I care about you a great deal. For some, you love them. And it's like, I need you to be more developed in your emotions. I need you to be more emotionally mature and go and do that. Go have some more life experience. And maybe one day we can do something again about this, right? But you are avoiding this, Leo. It's very clear, which is why you're still standing there holding this orb, holding this crystal ball, looking at it. Like, just looking at it, just looking at it. Like, I need to make a choice about this. I know the choice I have to make, but this is a really hard choice to make. Maybe there's more answers. Maybe there's more clarity. Maybe there's more things I'm not seeing. Nope, nope, that's the answer. That's the answer. Leo, if you don't bring in this tower, it will happen. Tower moments are inevitable. They are inevitable because they clear away things that are not serving your highest good so that things that will serve your highest good can come in. I know you don't want to have this conversation, but Leo, it's better to have the tower happen on your terms than have it just happen because it will happen. It's here. It will happen. You're avoiding it, though. I'm sorry, Leo. I know. It sucks. It sucks. I know. I'm sorry. All right. Let's get some advice. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Hi! <laughs> Cards are being stubborn, Leo. <laughs> Any advice? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Oh my gosh, Leo, stop it. <laughs> the cards are really, really wanting to talk for you guys. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Hmm. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? See what we have here wow yeah leo antelope spirit life is speeding up with the energy of two butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful 11 if you were to break it's a master number so you usually don't break those down but if you were to break it down it'd be another two so you got two twos essentially for synchronicities yeah this person has to grow and the fact that antelope spirit is here that life is speeding up i don't think it's really about speed i think it's about distance that needs to be covered distance that needs to be covered this person has a lot of emotional distance to to cover to catch up to you they have a long way to go in their growth and they can get there they can do it they can become that butterfly they can transform in, in their emotional development they can increase in their emotional development to be that person that is right for you but they got a lot of ground to cover leo and that's the bummer that's the bummer but the advice is to basically let them and leo i know this is gonna hurt but the advice is to let them go and do that. Let them go and do that, okay? Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Oh my God. Coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. What did I say? 16 breaking down to a seven about being on your path. Seven of pentacles is my life path card in tarot. It's not explicit meaning. It's it's just as you read and um, have more experience reading cards as a reader, you start to develop your own meanings for cards and the way they speak to you. Like I said, some of you are realizing that a detour needs to happen on your path because of this person, whether they returned back in your life or this is someone who's been in your life for the last like six months to a year or so. 
time for a detour but it's not a bad detour guys it's not because with trusting in divine detours the coyote spirits the trickster I freaking love the coyote to be honest with you um they're the trickster of spirit totems they throw the curveballs they know the blueprint okay they know the blueprint they know the master blueprint of how everyone's destinies are intertwined they throw curveballs to get people back on their path they throw detours your way present detours your way to get you to where you need to be and leo it is time for a detour okay with this person sorry i know i'm sorry any other advice whoa 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 whoa, whoa. any other advice for my leos regarding this spread Leo, this one might make me cry. <laughs> I'm going to hold back. Otter spirit, you're never alone. <sighs> like I said, you guys care about each other a great deal. This card is usually my two of cups lover, six of cups kind of energy. It's someone who loves you no matter what, has your back no matter what. Oh, fuck. <laughs> as much as you care about this person and love this person, and yes, you'll always have their back and they will always have your back. You gotta let them go and grow. You gotta let them go live, live their live their life, grow, expand, change. Um, especially if this is pertaining to anyone who's on the younger side. Um, yeah, you guys have each other's back, and that's beautiful. That's beautiful. But this person has some living to do, and they've got some living to do on their own, so they can grow emotionally. <sighs> that's heavy. Any other advice for my Leos? And Leo, that, it, it's also an energy of, it doesn't mean you'll never love again. You know, you'll find other, I know, I'm sorry. I know it's like breaking some of your hearts. Leos, you will have that love again with someone else. You know, and that's the other thing. You don't know what's in store for this person's destiny. You don't know. But the point is, you know that it's not with you right now in this moment because they have stuff that they got to do they have growing they have to do even if they want to stick by your side romantically emotionally and that's great you guys can always be their support system you know be support systems for each other have each other's backs but you got to go and let them do their own thing solo even if they don't really want to you got to let them go and it doesn't mean that you're not going to have love again in your life you'll love again leo you will you'll love again and who knows, part of this detour could bring in a new soulmate for you. I'm sorry, I know that really sucks to hear. I can I can feel in your heart chakras. Any other advice for my Leos? Oh, shit. Oh, okay, this is a nicer energy as the overall. So that's all the advice that came out, except we do have an overall advice of Sandpiper Spirit with Be Playful, 51 that breaks down into a six here. And honestly, this also reminds me of the Six of Cups, which did come out. It did come out. You guys do have a lot of fun together. You do have a lot of fun together. But as this person, as you let this person go and let them go on their own journey, finding finding themselves, this person doesn't know who they are, Leo. They don't know who they are. They got to go figure that out so they can keep growing to be that person that maybe could jive with you one day. But who knows? You, both of you are not sure of what destiny lies ahead for you. And you could have a whole other new soulmate coming in with this detour that you're taking. And this is a time to enjoy life again, maybe even on your own. And that's okay. And for some, like I said, you might have a new soulmate coming in once you make this decision, and then you're going to have that Six of Cups energy back in your life, going from one soulmate to another for some of you. Either way, it's an advice to go and enjoy life right now, even if it's solo, even if you may or may not have someone coming uh, into your life, someone new, both of you, it's time to go and enjoy life a little bit away from each other. Because this person really needs to grow, and Leo, you got to heal from this situation a little bit. And for some of you... There is someone that's going to be coming in that you got to learn some lessons with, okay? Or have some experiences with. Because even underneath this, we have Bobcat Spirit. Life is a mystery with the energy of eight. Yeah, exactly. It's like you don't know what's ahead, guys. You really don't. Take this detour. You might be surprised. You might actually come into a soulmate that is of your frequency emotionally, is up to your emotional development standards, is mature enough for you while this person goes off and has their own life experiences separate from you, okay? Oh, damn it. Leo, I know this was a rough reading. This was a heavy reading. I can feel some of you are crying and I'm sorry. Um, but insight is always good. Insight's always good here. And at the end of the day, Leo, you already know your answer about this situation. As hard as it is to make, you know it's in your best interest. Okay? All right, Leos. 
please take care. Take this message for what it is, if it resonates. I know it's okay to be bummed, but it's it's for the better. It's for the betterment of this person, okay? All right, Leos, I'm going to go take care. Check out Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Namaste.